Hello and welcome to the first day of the Disney-a-thon. Hello. It is currently three o'clock. <laughs> I have been busy all morning, but luckily I have a little bit of downtime before I eat dinner tonight. So here's the thing. I kind of goofed when I made my TBR and I doubled up on a lot of the books I set for the Disney-a-thon and the Disney movie-a-thon. But I just realized that I have to read the same books that I set for the entire Disney movie-a-thon, which is only a week long, and the same books for a month-long read-a-thon. And I have to finish them in order, which means that's like five books in one week. I wasn't thinking with, with this when I did that. Technically, you have to finish the prompts in order for the Disney-a-thon. Yeah, but doesn't mean I can't read more than one book at once. I don't see a rule about that, do you? I don't see a rule about that. I just know I have to finish the prompts in order. We're going to be reading multiple books at one time because that's the only way that this is going to work and be successful. So the first two books that I have, my TBR, the first one is Gemina. This is going to be a big deal because this completes two prompts for the Disney movie it's on. I can read, I can do like a chunk of this today. I won't be doing hardly any reading tomorrow, probably none at all. And then for the first day of Disney movie a which would be Monday, I can finish this and then I will have completed my first book, my first prompt for the Disney a thon. It, it, I, I don't know. I did this really complicated and I don't think I thought about it the whole way. Luckily I have every single book that I'm reading as an audiobook and I feel like I will be successful. Also the other book I'm going to be kind of dabbling in the next couple days is King of Scars which is the next book on my Disney-a-thon TBR but not for Disney movie-a-thon so I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna be alternating between these two. Maybe I'll read some of this today and some of this today. We'll see what I'm feeling. Welcome. Welcome to my first vlog. I'm hoping to vlog for this whole month. Hopefully. And I am hoping that I can move around the map as we go along. Or what will probably end up happening. I don't want it to happen, but it probably will end up happening is that I will fail at the Disney Movie-a-thon and semi be successful at the Disney-a-thon, but we'll see. <laughs> Monday. Yeah, it's currently like one o'clock. I didn't read anything yesterday, but I knew I wasn't going to. Yesterday was the busiest day ever and it was wonderful and I had a wonderful day. Perfect day. Best day. Today is also the first day of the Disney movie-a-thon, which is very, very exciting. There were a couple of little questions hosted on the Twitter account where you could earn points for your team if you answer them correctly. And I did like two questions. Another person on our team did another one. So Team Science Kids for the win. I think we won all of the questions. I ended up getting 30 points for our team. So that's very, very exciting. I am farther into my first read, which is Gemina. I am 130 pages into it. So the goal is to get a big chunk of this done today. I'm like two hours into the audiobook, this goes really, really quickly. I can listen to this and do anything. I'm absolutely loving rereading it, and I am reminded about why this is my favorite Illuminate book. I'm on my second cup of coffee for the day. That is how tired I am. I've become like a bougie person now, and I use these sugar free Tarani coffee syrups. Excellent. This one is caramel not a huge fan of it in iced coffee like in cold brew but in hot coffee i think it tastes better i'm gonna drink the rest of my coffee read more of this book and i'll update you tonight but so far not bad hello it is now 7 30 monday night i've read more in 
Gemini. I am now 284 pages into it and I'm enjoying my reread just as much as when I read it the first time. I took a break to watch some 90 Day Fiance because if you're not addicted to 90 Day Fiance, do you get any enjoyment out of life? I'm not doing anything else tonight so I still want to read more in this. I don't know how much I'll get done because this is like a weird formatted book so I don't know how far I'll get into it. Right now I am struggling a little bit mentally. I over the past several months have been struggling with food and thoughts around food anything to do with that and it's been very hard particularly if I eat too much of one type of food um, if I have a couple days where I eat more of some things or just more in general um a lot of times can come a lot of like negative thoughts and feelings and just a lot of negativity around food i had to take a break from working on it because this past week has been so overwhelming emotionally for me that i just couldn't dedicate the time to do more work on that element of my mental health like i was just struggling to be coherent hoping that this week is much calmer and that i have the ability and space in my brain to work on it again because it's definitely something i need to work on because i know why it calmed down for a couple weeks and i knew it was gonna happen again so it's not as intense and it's not as bad because i knew that it would happen again so i'm just gonna I'm going to start vacuuming, so I'll talk to you later. So, it's now 9 o'clock, and this is where I stop reading for the night. Even though, honestly, this book is so good, I would keep reading because it's amazing. I purposely cut off my reading by 9 o'clock because otherwise I don't sleep. And I got such trash sleep last night. I woke up at like 3 because there was like really bad thunderstorms last night, and my stomach was in really bad shape so i just did not sleep well last night so that's why i need to do everything today so that way i can sleep well but i just love this book i'm such trash for it <clears throat> and if i get finished it tomorrow then i will have completed two challenges for the Disney movie a thon and my first challenge for the Disney a thon, which is very, very exciting. Having a great time reading today. I have not read like this in a long time. Good morning. It is now Wednesday at almost nine o'clock, and you might be thinking, Oh, so you didn't read anything yesterday? That's why you didn't update us. Oh no, that is not what happened yesterday. Let me give you a rundown of what happened yesterday i was reading all morning i was doing really good i go to take a shower at around noon and our power cuts off yep mm -hmm. and it didn't come back till 2 a.m yep mm -hmm. i'll preface all of this with saying we were extremely lucky. Yesterday was not hot. It was like 75 degrees. It was the perfect day to lose power. Luckily, it didn't really get hot until like the evening time. We had lost power for over 13 hours, I guess. It was not fun. Everything he decided, I could have managed except for the quiet. It is so quiet when you have no noise. I'm the type of person who sleeps with a fan and a noise machine. So to lose power is my worst nightmare. Also, I live in a noisy neighborhood. My neighbors are the worst. And last night they specifically chose to be making noise until 2 a.m. Screaming bloody murder at each other outside. That's what happened yesterday. 
Luckily, we did go out. We went to like 20 minutes away, which, like, which is like the closest like like stores and stuff like that. We were able to get flashlights and luckily it was short enough to where, where I don't think we lost any food. I'm really thinking, oh, okay, you know, Wi-Fi, like no air, what, what's the big deal? We, I couldn't even text people because cell service was so bad. Like I could strictly only do phone calls. That's it. Like I couldn't text people. I couldn't surf the web because data was not working as well. I don't know if because so many people were down without power that the cell service was just so overwhelmed. This past week and a half has been like a movie. It feels like not even real to me. It's so bad. It's just, I just want a break. I finished my first read for the Disney Movie-a-thon and the Disney-a-thon, and that is Gemini by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is a reread for me. Absolutely freaking loved it. I'll probably read Obsidio again before the end of the year, just so I can have a reread of this series. But it's kind of eerie lately how I've been doing this thing where I reread almost exactly like to the month of when I read it the first time. It's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't like it. Absolutely loved it. Five and five stars. The audiobook, phenomenal. Completed the first challenge for the Disneyathon, which is a hardworking main character. I love Hannah Donnelly. I love her. I love her. I love her. I stand her. I read two prompts of read a book set in space and to also read a romantic book, which obviously there's romance in this book. I'm counting that. I completed two prompts for the Disney Movie-thon. The first prompt for the Disney-a-thon. That's a success. I drink my coffee and I will see you later. Hopefully my power doesn't go out again. That's not funny. But, oh, the amount of people who lost power, like, in our area through our electric company was, like, 100,000 people. So, yeah. Good afternoon. It's Friday the 7th at almost 2 o'clock. I don't know. Sometimes time just totally gets away from me. So, here's the thing. <laughs> there are only a couple days left in the Disney movie-a-thon. I don't know if I'm going to try to read things not on my TBR to try to get more challenges for that done and just hold off on the Disney-a-thon because you can only read the Disney-a-thon in a certain order, blah blah blah, yada yada yada. I don't know. Frankly, I don't know. Technically, the next book that I had last said that I was supposed to start was King of Scars. I never started it. What else is new? King of Scattered Thoughts. Let me show you. Um, hello? How pretty? Is that? Um, I know. Gorgeous, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. They smell, chef's kiss, amazing. My friends got them for me because I have friends who I love and who love me and care about me. I know, didn't know that. that. <laughs> so like I was saying, I've been having a lot of issues with focusing lately. This tends to happen in the summer, I tend to just, my thinking, and my brain fog gets so bad during summer. And just like throughout the year period, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's Chiari, I don't know if it's EDS. I don't know what it is, but sometimes my brain, it just, I can't describe the level of not working that it does. It just feels like everything takes up so much space and time and energy just in my mind that I'm overwhelmed. I am not gonna do anything for the next several hours. I'm gonna lay down. Hopefully no one disturbs me and hopefully read something. I'm having an excellent time with the Disney Movie-a-thon. Unbelievably happy. So much fun. I haven't been able to join in many of the sprints, but the questions that they have, so much fun. Honestly, love this read-a-thon. Mm. I can't wait, wait for the next round because it's so much fun. Good evening, it is now Saturday at eight o'clock after eight o'clock if you hear a booming there's nothing i can do about it my neighbors sit in their cars and listen to music i just can't do anything about it i have been reading believe it or not i started he started it by samantha downing i'm currently 52 percent of the way into it my goal is to read even more of it tonight i have less than five hours left of it 
so I am hoping to finish it between today and tomorrow. I don't know if that'll happen or not because I have a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It's possible, <laughs> but we can't bet on it. So yeah, that's what's going on. Really enjoying it. It is so good and so interesting and very original for a thriller. Kind of, I've realized I like like a kind of a subcategory in domestic thrillers. I don't mind dealing with thrillers that have to do with families or like family dynamics, but I don't like for them to take place in a traditional setting. So I don't like the type of like domestic thrillers that are like, it goes through a typical scenario of like a family life. That doesn't interest me whatsoever. But if it has family dynamics going on that are different and are really, really unique and twisted, that's when I'm into them. I like them when they're very obviously very different from the very beginning. That's what I like. I like thrillers that you go into it knowing that these people are messed up. I love thrillers like that. I love reading the whole thriller knowing I'm reading about bad people. I don't know what that says about me, but I love thrillers like that. I love thrillers where I know from the very beginning that I'm not gonna like anybody. Is that a subgenre? Is that a category? I don't know, but I really love it. My Lovely Wife, My Sister the Serial Killer, two thrillers that are about terrible people. Um, what's another one? Um, as Long As We Both Shall Live by Joanne Cheney. It's terrible. You know that from basically the get. You know that something's hinky. Hello, it is very late Sunday night. It's probably like 10 o'clock now, but I had to finish my book because I wanted to finish this book before the end of the Disney movie-a-thon. The book that I was in the middle of, as you know, was He Started It by Samantha Downing. And this book was a letdown. I I wanted to love this a lot more than I did. I ended up giving it three to five stars. I think it was still enjoyable and I will definitely keep reading Samantha Downing's books because I think she has a really good writing style and I think a lot of times because definitely it happened in My Lovely Wife even if I don't like the ending, the journey of her books are just so good and entertaining. So this book I thought was going to be a five for like, honestly, I would say 80% of it, 80 to 90% of the book I thought was going to be five stars. And then the ending happened and it dropped and ended up being a three. The ending is so far fetched and it it's not because of a oh these characters are unlikable and do terrible things aspect it's from a this had no light li li like like lead up this had no inkling that this was gonna happen which you can say would make a thriller good but it was just so unbelievable and the motive just i don't i don't get it like I don't get the motivator of why people did the things that they did and part of what made this book so interesting was the family dynamics and and the really twisted things that they did to each other and that element is I think so interesting. Ending twisted and I think probably I listened to it on audiobook but probably what ended up being 20 pages twisted about a hundred times and in some ways it was like I kind of expected that and then in others it was like that was unexpected and then in other ways I was like that's not even believable and doesn't even make a good ending. I think this book is the definition of a bold choice. <laughs> we'll go with that. I felt like she just threw in whatever she could to end the book. I feel like the very 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 end like the last page was interesting and I think the words it's so hard to describe without spoiling it but the words that were used to wrap up the story were very very interesting at the end definitely comes full circle this was a well-written book 
that's that's what's so hard plot wise it just fell apart at the end and just felt like we were throwing in everything in the kitchen sink you still will though say that i enjoy samantha downing as an author so far still enjoyed majority of this book and it's not a bad read a three-star book is not a bad read very very mixed feelings about it very very interesting <laughs> feelings for me didn't end up completing any more reading challenges for the disney movie-a-thon but i ended up completing the read a romantic book read a book set in space i think those are the only challenges that i completed but i completed two books and um that's pretty successful for me that's it so i hope you enjoyed this vlog let me know if you've read these books down below i would love to know and i hope this video wasn't boring i don't know thanks for watching and i hope i'll see you on the next video bye